Hi Aries, welcome back. You did have a wonderful general spread. I just want to have a look at the in-depth messages now in relation to love and romance for you. So we'll lay out six more cards first using the Shadowscapes Tarot for love and romance. You know, there's twin flame energy here or someone that's coming back to heal from a certain situation and you're going to mend things with them for some of you. Let's see what else comes up in regards to love romance relationships okay you've got the lovers here aries need i say more um beautiful energy the lovers okay with the wheel of fortune all right destiny 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 new cycles or rebirth with an from an existing um what was once a relationship here okay the four of swords the queen of cups The Five of Swords and the Three of Cups. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of circles here. Circles everywhere. Here, 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 here. Um, round and round we go, Aries. Someone could be coming back here. You did have a star card, which is um, representative of healing. So I do believe someone may be coming up. Actually, I changed my mind. Let's do let's do the cards like this. Can you see all that? Yes, you can. Um, because of this, I do believe there's someone coming in. There, there is a union here. You can see the doves whisk away a crown, so it can be engagements here. I think for some of you, if you're not physically getting engaged or getting proposed to in April, there's some sort of engagement um, or interaction between you and someone that's destined to be in your path, Aries. Now, some of you will, will think about this for a while. Um, I don't think you're going to jump into any opportunities here, Aries, but I just want to say to you, someone that you're already connected to, I feel like with, in this imagery with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like you're already connected to this person. They could be a part of your social circle because you also have the Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups is a card of celebration. It's celebrating unions. It's celebrating our relationships or friendships with other people. And because this has come up, um... I feel this is someone you're already connected to somehow. You've made contact with this person, whether direct or indirect contact. Now, for some of you, there's a third party situation happening. That's not to say you will partake in affairs, Aries, but I believe there is a destined union. Now, it doesn't mean it has to be romantic. It could be with the Wheel of Fortune that the gods, the angels, the universe are sending you this connection because somehow it's going to help you on your journey. I'm not sure what they're going to provide whether they're going to provide guidance, love, attention, um, lucrative opportunities, something that's part of your destiny, though, with the Wheel of Fortune here. This is like clockwork. Something to do with engagement and clockwork is coming up around a relationship here. Some of you are becoming more intertwined with someone. Things are getting more complex. Things are getting a little bit more complicated, as indicated by these vines that grow rooted around the Wheel of Fortune here. It's really like kind of, you can expect anything in anyone here, Aries. Um, I think it's a major, major month for you in regards to love. I do, especially if you have been single for quite some time. Now, this is a Gemini coming through with the lovers. You did have an Aquarius here. The Four of Swords could, could be symbolic of this Gemini um, Aquarius or perhaps even a Libra here. Um, some of you, if you have felt like you've been in a, in a slumber, I feel like this is pointing towards, she is next to the Wheel of Fortune. It's pointing towards suddenly there's going to be changes. I think your, your love life is going to come full circle for some of you. And what I love about this is that you also have the Queen of Cups. Remember I spoke about that journey in your general reading? It's something to do with a stepping stone. Now for some of you, there is a love union, there is a significant relationship around you that can lead to marriage, engagement, you know, those major changes, major milestones that the Wheel of Fortune can bring. For others, it's a stepping stone that's going to lead you um, to a new world. I'm seeing, for, it's like, it's, it's, it, there's a bit of duality here because there's two different connections. For some of you, it is the connection that will be life, lifelong, possibly. For others, I feel like there's something to do with stepping stones. But look, the, the, um, the Queen of Cups is a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio here. Um, there's a lot of happiness in here. The Queen of Cups is dances because she's in love. So for those that are dealing with a water sign, you may hear the words, I love you, I want to be with you. Let's be exclusive. Let's go public. Let's create our own type of relationship here. 
This is your cup overflowing, Aries. This is the happiness that you've been waiting for. It's coming. This is, uh, you know, it's... I do believe you're meeting someone very special or you have someone very special in your path here. Now be mindful if it is with an air sign because I do feel like it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag. The Five of Swords is here. Five of, five of Swords is a bit of disruption here. Um, there could be, I guess, not so much a confession but more an admittance. The Five of Swords is in balance to what could be otherwise a happy connection or relationship. Now, because the five is here, you also have the six of swords. So I'm seeing out of this, there could be someone wanting to cause a bit of drama here. I'm not sure if this is jealousy. I'm not sure if another person is jealous of your connection. It could be a friend here, Aries. It could be someone in your social circle that you trust. You've got care for them. There's emotion around them. Um, or there's someone else coming up here, but there's jealousy, I think. Because the Five of Swords in the Rider Waite deck isn't really so much jealousy. But when I look at the imagery in this card, I feel like, okay, someone's got, you know how you've got the, the you've got an angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other. This, this person has both the ducks ones. So they're thinking dark thoughts or they're envious, you know. Um, they've got their swords up. They're carrying their swords. So they're ready to come in on the d defensive here, Aries. So there could be a bit of jealousy happening here. Either this could come from a friend because you might be spending a lot of time with this special person. Um, or this could be someone that, it, and it doesn't necessarily have to be the air sign, but it could be someone that you sort of distancing yourself away. Four of Swords is with, withdrawal, it's retreating away from someone. Maybe you're detaching from someone else because of a new connection, a new love, a new friendship. Um, but I see someone's, oh, okay. Someone's going to be... Almost like they want to attack you here, Aries, like verbally, like they'll express themselves and it might not be very pleasant because the Five of Swords never is. In fact, in the Rider Waite deck, it leaves the other person um, emotional to the point of tears, which I did mention from that first column. Um, but it could be, what, I, what, what comes to mind is the saying, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. And not to say that you're making an enemy here, but you might find that you're hurt by someone very close to you. Someone that you consider part of your social circle, part of your extended family. Someone that you thought was your friend here. So just, just be mindful because it's hard to pay attention to this circle here and divert all your time and energy to so many different people and so many types of connections. So just be mindful. You might see some of this. Remember, the Knight of Swords is very quick to speak. Doesn't always think about what they say. And how it'll affect the other person. So that's in regards to love though, Aries. Let's have a look at career, business. Okay, some of you are rising to fame. You know, interviews here. The world, international opportunities that will open up. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, there's a new job for some of you. Uh, could be offered by a Taurus Capricorn Virgo here. Um, it could be a potential very lucrative opportunity. It is sitting next to the Aquarius, so it could, if it is in re revolving around production, the media, website, any online roles, um, any natural roles where you're um, providing healing or spirituality, you know, psychology. Um, it could be in the travel or the tourism industry as well. This is coming up, and I do believe this new opportunity could grant you quite a bit of money because you also have the Eight of Pentacles. Um, your hard work will be received very well. Um, and this might be a company that prides, uh, very much prides its workers uh, and praises its workers upon hard work. And Eight of Pentacles is abundance. Is you working, climbing your way up to the ladder here, Aquari um, Aries? Because you did have that Aquarius card, which means people will notice you for your talents and that journey, that physical journey. Um, and you're also having a good relationship down here as well with the people you're working with. Okay, the next card is the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords. In the imagery here, I mean, the Ten of Swords can be transition, it can be change, it can be a new horizon that's dawning, but for, for in the imagery, it's, it's slipping into something here. Some of you may be slipping into unhealthy patterns in the workspace. Um, it could be unhealthy habits. Um, it could be in regards to your connection with people. 
um, something to do with imbalance, but you're slipping and falling into something mysterious here. For some of you, you may feel like a job is be, uh, your position within a job is being threatened because you also have the knight, sorry, the nine of wands, which is defensiveness. It's anger, it's defensiveness, it's feeling like you're ready to be on the defense for some reason or another. You might be held accountable for something here. You are the ones, Aries. You might be accountable for something here with the nine of wands, but I'm looking to the ten of swords. This is a bit gloomy. You can see that background here. It's a little bit mysterious. You don't really know where you're going. You don't really know where you are. But the notion of slipping. I also feel there might be someone keeping something from you in the workplace. And it could be this air sign. God, I'm really picking on air signs in your reading, aren't I, today? Um, I'm not, I'm not, I don't mean to do this, but they're just coming up in the cards. And I feel with the Knight of Swords, this, this is someone who's a little bit mischievous, a little bit tricky, a little bit of a trickster here with the Knight, you know, um, gets a bit panicky when things don't go their way. And I feel like there's a bit of mystery around this person. Because the Nine of Wands is here. So obviously you're going to be defensive. You're going to be de you're defensive towards them, uh, Aries. You've got people by your side here. You see the, the, you know, you've got support. So if you are looking for that support and encouragement, I do believe there'll be people to back you up. Whatever this is that happens, there's other people next to you here. You've got people beside you ready to, I don't know if they're testifying something. I don't know if they might be interviewed about a certain situation that occurs in the workplace. Um, because I am seeing the interview possibly interrogation here maybe you also have the page of swords the page of swords is is it's something to do i think there's communication blocks in the workplace um or in career could be like ideas as well page of swords is not ready to take their ideas into the spotlight feels protective or defensive over their ideas over their words um there could be someone that feels intimidated by you aries because you've come up, you've come up as the emperor. So you're obviously, I'm not sure if there's a bit of a power struggle between you and a, a someone else you're working with, but you're coming up very intimidating because that's what the emperor is. The emperor is very well respected, but you have to ask yourself, are you respected or are you feared? Because I'm seeing some of you, some people around you in the workplace feel like you're just on the defense, feel like you know, they're slipping. They're not impressing you enough. Are you making someone around you feel in the month of April like they're not doing a good enough job? Are you praising the good or are you just scolding the bad? What are you focusing on here, Aries? Because I'm seeing people are a little bit, you know, to be around you. I'm seeing that people are, there's nervous energy here with the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords. So regardless if it's air signs that are working with you or not, employees, you know, the emperor comes with a certain intensity. He's obviously very powerful, and you obviously have that about you, Aries. I, I'll hand that to you. Um, I've got a family member that's an Aries. I also have a very dear friend that's an Aries, and they're very similar. Um, and I can see how sometimes their behavior might be misconstrued. Um, but you do have a very intimidating energy about you, and you have to be aware that those that are anxiety-ridden or those that are more in tune with their emotions will be fearful to be completely honest with you. And as a result, they'll beat around the bush or they'll say things they don't mean. And I want you to come into an energy where you're a little bit more balanced or approachable. Because you'll find that should you maintain good relationships and should you come in with that I want to help you energy, you'll see changes. The Eight of Pentacles is here. You'll see changes within the workspace. Um, but also in your connections with other people here. And that will improve. Remember I mentioned that tumultuous water? You will look to better horizons. Um, and that water is, is, is calm and, and um, tranquil. It's not um, rushing water. It's not turbulent water. So you could improve on your connections with, with people that you work with. Absolutely. But what I love here, taking that out of the equation, Aries... There's something you're working on or will be working on in April that can bring you a lot of um, a lot of success here. The Eight of Pentacles is quite a bit of money. It's something you've been designing here. So it's obviously quite delicate. Silk is delicate. And you've got these little stars here, stars of creation. So I'm not sure if you've been dabbling in a few things here, Aries. 
Um, you know, the spider is almost like in the corner here in the branch. So you've hidden this away from other people. Um, you haven't really told them about this yet. You've just been working your way, just busy, 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 working your, working on success here, working on creating something, just minding your own business. Um, tying up loose ends is what I'm seeing with the branches here. You can see the spider has weaved its silk around the branches. So you're tying up loose ends and you're making everything come together very nicely. Um, you're really enjoying this actually. And I see that because it's a stone adorned slab here, this could prove to be permanent. This could be a permanent source of income for you or a per, like a permanent wave you're riding. And remember the star card is here. So this could very well be something you're emitting to the world. You're launching an event. You're telling people about it. This is all about brand awareness and being in the spotlight. So look, I will leave it at that though, Aries. I hope this reading has been insightful. I hope you have a fantastic April and we'll chat soon. Thanks again, Aries. Bye for now.